Now, I thought I would say a few more words about Brown. Um, you would uh, be surprised, or maybe you wouldn't be surprised, to know how much debate and controversy uh, remains over Brown, not just in the public eye, but also within the legal community and the legal scholarly uh, community. A lot of things are pointed out by Brown, uh, about Brown, that are important to an understanding of its complexity. Number one, though it was an important monumental decision, uh, though it was clear that Brown would require a re-examination of segregation within the country, there were several aspects of Brown which did not make it a fait accompli that all segregation would end. One, the decision was limited in a number of ways. It was limited in its wording. It talked about uh, segregation in education. Uh, it was limited in its force, though it certainly indicated that school segregation would be disestablished. It did so in uh, an opinion, a printed, uh, an opinion which ran about 14 pages, was not heavily footnoted. The issue of uh, the uh, purpose of the 14th Amendment was disposed of in one paragraph, whereas it had been briefed uh, voluminously, not only by the, uh, the uh, private litigants and the state litigants, but by the United States. Uh, they're, they're, it wasn't so clear what those 14 pages of reasoning would mean. It was also limited because the court did not take an immediate stand on the remedy which uh, would be uh, imposed for uh, the past of state-sponsored school desegregation, and uh, Judge Motley talked about that. Um, so, so the decision was not implemented immediately. The remedies were not specified. Uh, plus, as Judge Motley pointed out, uh, there, were there was a, a concluding paragraph in the remedial decision which suggested all sorts of reasons which the states could offer to delay the desegregation of the public schools. So, so I should say, all of these factors do not detract from the importance of the decision, but what they did, as I see it, uh, and I would welcome some comment on this, what they did was to create uh, additional doubts in the minds of people who were called upon to enforce these decisions, to create additional doubts in the minds of the people who would have to be subjected to these decisions. So while you had a legal precedent, a, a precedent that is of extraordinary force, at the same time, the decision was rendered in such a way, worded in such a way, uh, qualified in such a way, that it did leave open the possibility of a protracted struggle over its meaning. Now, some people would say that that was the genius of the decision, that it did present the possibility of a gradual transition <coughs> away from segregation, a dialogue where we could come to some understanding of what the post-Brown society would be. Uh, but at the same time, that same opportunity for dialogue and interpretation uh, also resulted in a great deal of ambiguity, which we indeed to this very day are trying to, are trying to sort out.